Our next guest is aptly named Giant Haystacks. Hero to wrestling fans across the world. He, well, I'm going to have to check this out. He weighs in at a mammoth 46 stone. His home, specially reinforced furniture as normal sofas fall apart beneath him. So let's hope ours is okay. Welcome, Giant Haystacks. Nice to be here. What do I call you? Sir will do. All right. Sir. Welcome, sir. Uh, we were going, Lorraine and I were going through your daily diet, and we, you know, 21 pints and 8 pounds of sausage, 2, 21, 10 large loaves, 2 Adam cheeses, 2 large... Is that exaggerated? Uh, yeah, it's slightly exaggerated. Uh, I don't eat the cheese. <laughs> 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 but you eat everything else. Yeah. <laughs> 46 stone, is that exaggerated? No. You are 46 stone? Oh, definitely, yes. Mm. Now, people might find this funny. I met you 12, 10 or 12 years ago. You actually... You actually had a breathing problem 10 or 12 years ago, I thought. Whether it's bronchitis or something. I do, you're yeah, you're fitter now, aren't you? Yeah, I had, um, I had some bronchial trouble, you know, and um, it was getting very hard to shift it. But the last, you know, six or seven years has been perfect. Mm. Yeah. See, people will say, won't they, sir, uh, that, that, that you're... He can't be healthy. Look at the size of him all... Every, we, every year we, we hear that it's unwise to be overweight and so on. But your doctor says what about you? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. A fine physical... Is that because you sit on him? <laughs> <laughs> he says you're a fine yeah. specimen. The problem with today is that everybody's getting this hype about diets and about fashion and all that. Just a load of madam. It doesn't mean anything at it's all. It's a load of old madam. You are what you are. You know, I was born into a giant family, from a giant family, and I am what I am. How heavy were you when you were born? I weighed over a stone. What, as a baby? Yeah. Did your mother call you sir as well, I think? <laughs> yeah. Now... Called help, I think. Maybe she did. Giant, what we're here to talk about is, for a start, there's a video out, isn't there? Of, there is indeed, Of yes. wrestling. Yes. We're also here to talk about why, for instance, ITV viewers can't see wrestling on the screens, yeah? That's great. Let's just, first of all, sir, have a look at um, uh, a man called Giant Haystacks in action. It's a little flavour of the video that's out in the market now. One round or one score must continue. So it's got to be Giant Haystacks against Pat Roach. And trying the same tactics as worked against Robbie Brookside. And that foot straight across the throat. 40 stone plus of power coming down on the throat of the crowd. As you can see, they don't like this. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> for the, just for the technically <laughs> minded, what were you trying to do there to Pat Roach, who we know from Alf Vida's aim? What were you trying to do to him? Garrot him. <laughs> Garrot him. Yeah, demobilise him. Mm. Did it, was he all right afterwards? Did Oh. Did he work again after that? He survived. Mm. Well, there again, the guy's mm. trained to survive. Mm. Now, look, sir, why aren't we watching you in action? What's the, what's the history of all this? Well, they, they took it off the television because they thought some guy who had never done any sports in his life and didn't know a wrist lock from a wristwatch decided that it was time to come off. Mm. Uh, in 1988, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, for, for no for no good reason. I mean, the uh, wrestling ratings were high. Uh, the program was very popular. Mm. All major companies advertised around the wrestling. Mm. Uh, it promoted other programs that came before it and after it. Mm. It was a, an institution in England, mm. and it was taken off. And a lot of people uh, who I've met and spoken to were very very disappointed over it. You know, mm. uh, people who can't get to live venues. Uh, Look forward to it. Yeah, know. I mean, you, you became huge, you know, Big Daddy, you know, all the big names. Yeah, the past, yeah, yeah, Manus, yeah, yeah. Kelly and all that. When you watch, I mean, Sky Television decided that the World Wrestling Federation stuff, Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior and all that, is very popular. It appears to be popular. It appears to be doing well on Sky Television. What do you think when you see that? Well, you know, I've not come here to knock WWF, but what I'll say on it is this: it's American. America is all super hype. Mm. It's not. It's wrestling. fun, though, isn't it? Uh, it's it's fun to certain viewers. Mm. 
And there's a lot of people who don't watch it. Mm. A lot of people who come and watch the British wrestling. I mean, if we were on television, we'd be uh, just as popular again. Mm. You know, um, it's only because it's plugged down your throat five or six times a week that it's popular. Mm. Mm. We'll talk more, but relax for the moment. Take a breather. How long, what was that? Wrestling was what, three, three minute rounds, were they? Five. Five minute rounds, Five. unless somebody was garroted. Precisely. Mm. In, in which case the fight, what, went on? Well, it could or hardly. Stop quickly? It could hardly. Stop very quickly. After you garroted him, no. That's correct. Mm. Just relax there for a moment. I will. Okay. Coming up in the next half hour, more, more chat with Sir. And Gambo joins us with his pick of the flicks. And uh, I wonder what he thinks of Wayne's World, the movie success of the year in America. And we continue our uh, series of interviews with the stars of that film, uh, plus Hilary Jones, who's going to tell us about a rare but very worrying form of paralysis. First, though, the headlines this morning. Five people have been killed. This Shoot. man is sitting where Cyril Smith once sat. And I must tell you that you're so fit in comparison. When, when Cyril Smith was on, bless him, I actually was asked to do my film spot on the other side of the room in a chair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was for other reasons. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right, now what do you got for us, uh, Gamma? Well, you figure that the hot weather is here, so it's time for those lilting Latin rhythms. And the Mambo Kings have come to visit us. They when you like, want to go to the cinema, do you ever have to go to the cinema? Or like when you travel, so you have to fly? They must have to make special arrangements for you because you're a big lad. Yeah, they normally do. It's already usually sorted out for me, like, you know. Right. Yeah, the how, ma how many seats would you take up then in a plane? In a... In an aeroplane. In an aeroplane. Yeah. Uh, usually, they're usually in rows of threes. Yeah. So, so you I usually take the three. three. An, expensive, an expensive business, though, eh? Well... Coming to do that. It's live, isn't it? Sure is. And as we've seen, we've got, we've got the videos that we can see mm. you in action and the videos that, that are out just now, and they've been proven very popular. But do you think that wrestling will ever actually return to, say, to ITV or BBC, that, that more people can, can see it? I mean, I know there's the American stuff on Sky, but... I think it will eventually. I think, mm. you know, the, the British wrestling is the far the best wrestling in the world. Mm. And I think people, at the end of the day, realise this. And uh, I think that they should cater for what the people want. Sure. What, what sort of effect has it had on the sport, though? Because the, you can't be getting as much, uh, as much money pumped into the sport to encourage new people to come into it. Yeah, there is that aspect. But uh, nevertheless, people do come to the live venues, you know? Mm. And uh, although we do miss the, the television, it's our shop window, you know? That's right. uh, like Annie, uh, Annie sport, whether it be horse racing or mm. snooker or whatever it might be, you know, we need that uh, outlet. Sure. Doubt. Have you ever been really, really badly hurt? Or oh, does I it have. tend to be the, the, the people who are on the other end of it? Yes, like, have, have you? I've had dislocated rib cage, I've had broken fingers, broken wrists, broken ankle, mm. uh, lacerations. Good. Yeah, I've had many injuries. If you have a dislocated rib cage, it could be anywhere. <laughs> You're a very there. brave man, Gabbettini. Is, <laughs> is this man trying to wind me up? <laughs> no, yeah, no, I think he no. is. I think he is. I think <laughs> he's being rude to you. I get that. I get impression. I get it. Can I ask a question about your travelling on the plane? Because a friend of mine travelled on the same plane as you, and he couldn't get into the toilet for an hour, and the word was that you were stuck in it. Is that that, that, that was? Is that right? I mean, I'm sorry to be personal about this. That was at uh, in, in India. Hmm. Um, about half an hour before we landed. I would go for a wash and brush up. Now the doors on this particular toilet were those Constantina type things. And once you got in, there was uh, the clothes behind you. And I couldn't turn around to get it open, you see, because I was jammed inside and there I had to stay until it landed. Until they whipped the doors off from the outside. <laughs> Slightly embarrassing, but nevertheless. <laughs> we managed. It's a problem for all the other passengers as well. Well. <laughs> So we apologise for the closure of toilet free, owing to the fact that there is giant haystacks inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah oh well. <laughs> you take it easy, giant, because we're going to uh, just go to the cinema now. Was that, before you started wrestling, which made you a household name throughout Britain, was that actually a big problem to you? Did it make your life impossible? Not impossible, but you had, you know, you, you learn to cope with it, like, you know, you have your problems. Mm. Like, you know, clothing and cars and so on, like, you know. Mm. But you, you learn to overcome that. Right, so you cope with that. Then you became a big name, you, Big Daddy, and all the rest of the lads. 
How did that change your life? I mean, were you pursued through the streets of Britain by the lusting females we see in the front, we used to see in the front rows? <laughs> no, no. I kept well out of the way. No, you, were you frightened of them? No, I just don't get involved in it. You know, I just don't get involved at all with the public. Mm. Just occasionally you used to see when you watch the fights, the, a woman sort of lean out and poke somebody with an umbrella. Oh, yeah. Did any wrestler ever get hurt? Oh, they did, yeah. You serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few got stabbed. Stabbed? Yeah, the legs burnt with cigarettes. You know, lacerations. Yeah, it can get pretty nasty. Mm. Yeah. We, I mean, we know that some of it was choreographed. I mean, is I mean, clearly some of it is choreographed, and we won't go into just how much. When you look at the American version, that is a comic strip, isn't it? That's America, isn't it? Mm. That's the, the, the America's hype, 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 hype. Mm. As simple as that. Uh, in Britain, we're more down to earth. Mm. You know. Would you challenge? Yeah, Hulk I, Hogan. I, I would challenge anybody. Hogan, Warrior. Does not make it the ultimate warrior? Anybody at all? I'd do. I'd fight them now. This would minute. you issue a channel here and now on live network television to here Hulk now. Hogan? Definitely, without a doubt. And what will you? What would you do to Hulk Hogan? What's wrong with him? What's his weakness? I just don't think he's he's good enough to beat me. Is he a man? He's obviously a man. But does he? Does he get? I'm mean, trying to get you angry here. Is he? Is yeah, he, 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 he said mean angry. things about you. I've heard. Did he? Mm. Are you sure it's not you that's saying it? No, yeah, well, it probably is, actually. <laughs> Why don't you challenge him? <laughs> I'm his agent. Doing a job here. Yeah, I, I, I've always thrown an open challenge out to any wrestler. Anywhere in the world, I'll travel there and wrestle them, no matter who it is. Mm. So yes. that challenge is still open. All right, so we'll, we'll send that cassette then to um, Hulk Please Hogan do. and see what happens. If, uh, if we don't get you back on the television, for whatever reason, what will you do? What's, your, what's the future hold for... Giant haystacks. What does the future hold for anybody? You know, I take every day as it comes. You know, uh, I would like one thing that I would like to do is uh, write write my bo a book. You know, revelations, revelations, what have you? Anything you'd like to tell us now? No, no, I want to keep it. Who did you? Was anybody you hated? <laughs> I hate a lot of people. Who would be the top of the hate list? The top of the hate list. Mm. No, I have to have. A little bit of time to work that out because there's so many on the top of my hate list. Really? And you are coming one very, very, very <laughs> 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 you Give me watch. that glare, give me that glare. That glare, you know all about it. I know all about that glare. I, I've seen it. I've been underneath it, yeah. virtually. So, uh, you're happily married to Rita? That's correct, For yes. the last 37... No, how many years? <laughs> God. How many yeah. years? Months, I was going to say. How many years? 23 years. 23 years. How many children have you got? Three boys. Three boys. And she's only, what, five foot? Five foot two. Yeah. She's watching. Hello, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's how you normally do it. Hello, Rita. <laughs> is, that, is that how you do it? I don't check in. I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love us, really. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Giant. Nice to meet Good you. Good luck with the video. Thank you very much. And uh, Hulk Hogan, we hope he's been watching. Well, let's hope he is, yeah. Mm, we'll get that going. Thank you very much. We will indeed. And thank you, Gamble, as always. Are you in on Friday? Sure am. Good man. We'll see you then. Tomorrow, join us tomorrow because we'll be talking to Lionel Richie and Hollywood actor Danny Elio. Hope I'm saying that right. He's the star of a new film called Ruby, which is about Jack Ruby, the man who killed Oswald, Lee Harvey Oswald, the man who thought, killed President Kennedy. Dram. And all that. Yes? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that made perfect sense. I wonder sense. how long that chamber is going to go on. Yeah, it's it's going to get more and more controversial. Yes, yes. <laughs> but right now, it's uh, some cartoon fun after this break. <laughs>